welcome to learn yourself important metabolic process in humans is excretion so here we are going to learn the function of the kidneys and how kidney will purify our blood and that will go out through the urinary bladder and we call it urine so this complete function we are going to learn here now the kidneys will filter the blood and they will pass the uric acid the impure uric acid and that will pass from the ureter and it will come to urinary bladder and from urethra it will go out from the body so the function of the kidney is to purify the blood and they will collect the impure material from the blood and that is known as uric acid which will go from ureter to urinary bladder and from urethra it will go out now let us understand the detail the urine produced in kidneys pass through the ureters into urinary bladder where it stored until it releases through urethra so this is a urinary bladder it will store the urine so urine is to filter out waste product from the blood nitrogenous waste such as urea or uric acid are removed from blood in the kidneys now as we have seen in the respiratory tract that alveoles are the one who is responsible for the gaseous exchange here the nephrons are the one who is responsible for the filtration of the blood the basic filtration unit in kidney is a cluster of very thin walled blood capillaries now each capillary cluster cluster means a collection of capillary number of capillaries will come together and make one cluster that is associated with a cup shape and of a coil tube is called baumann's capsule and this is collectively known as nephrons this units are responsible for filtration of blood glucose amino acid salt major amount of water are selectively reabsorbed as the urine flows along the tube so this important materials will be there into the blood and this materials will reabsorbed into this walls as the urine flow along this tube the amount of water reabsorbed depends on how much excess water is there into the body on how much dissolved waste there is to be excreted the urine forming in each kidney eventually enter a long tube ureter which connects the kidney to urinary bladder so ureter is the pipe which will take urine from kidney to the urinary bladder urine is stored in a urinary bladder until the pressure of the expanded bladder leads to urge to pass it through the urethra the bladder is muscular and so it is under nervous control as we have discussed elsewhere it is under nervous control so we can keep that urge under control because it can controlled by our nervous system and that's why we can control the urge to pass the urine so here filtration unit is nephron and baumann's capsule that is called nephron now when the kidney is not functioning properly then we have to perform one procedure and that is known as dialysis so it is also known as artificial kidneys and artificial kidney is a device to remove nitrogenous waste product from the blood and this process is known as dialysis artificial kidney contain a number of tubes with a semi permeable lining suspended in a tank filled is dialyzing fluid the patient blood is passed through these tubes during this passage the waste product from the blood pass into dialyzing fluid by diffusion and blood will get pure in this form so this process is known as dialysis and, and dialysis will be required when kidneys are not functioning well now organ donation with the help of organ donation we can save the people around us who are in need of this organ donation 
in organ transplantation the organ is surgically removed from one person the organ has to be healthy and that person is known as organ donor and transplanted to another person and that person is known as recipient now excretion in plant till now we were discussing about the excretion in human the dialysis and the organ donation which is the important concept now we are talking about excretion in plant so oxygen is a waste generated during the photosynthesis they excrete excess water by transpiration for other waste so they have three types of waste first is oxygen then comes water and then other types of waste so oxygen they are releasing during photosynthesis water they are releasing through transpiration and other waste many of the tissue consist of dead cell and that they can even lose some parts such as leaves many plant waste product are stored in cellular vacuoles waste products may be stored in leaves that fall off so in this cellular vacuoles they are storing this other waste products so when the leaves will dry up and they will fall off automatically they will get rid of this waste product other waste products are stored as resin and gums especially in old xylem plants also excrete some waste substance into the soil around them so these are the types and these are the ways how plants will get rid of their waste so thank you for watching and learning with us if you have any doubt please comment down below i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe learn yourself